Hola, buenas noches. ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Todo bien? Uh -huh. Ok, Leticia says that she's going to just listen to us. Ok. Today's class is going to be related to positive and negative imperatives. I sent you some pictures to the WhatsApp group. Hopefully you will uh you were able to see them. Do you see them? Yes. Positive and negative imperatives. That's going to be our main topic, okay, for today's class. And um keep in mind just the same instructions. Just let me check if the class is being recorded. Yes, it is being recorded. Great. Just keep in mind that if you are not using the microphone, uh, please turn it off, okay? If you want to participate, uh, please just raise your hand, okay? If you have like some issues with the internet or with the camera or something, let me know, okay? You had the... Uh, WhatsApp's group, as well as the Zoom's chat, okay? Um, let me go ahead and start by sharing my computer's screen. Once you can see it, just let me know, please. Okay, I'm going to also share the sound. Um, just let me know if you can see my computer's screen or not yet. Yes. Great. Okay. Now, uh, if you see, there you have, let me just now check. Okay, you had the first PowerPoint presentation, right? Okay, and uh, there you have the imperatives. You have functions. Functions mean, uh, means, when to use it, okay? When are we going to use the imperatives? And examples, you also have examples, okay? We're going to read the function first, and then we're going to read the, the examples, okay? So I'm going to start with Alexandra. Can you please read the first function, when to use the imperative and also read the example, please. Okay. Function uh, imperative to use given a direct order and command. Example, wake up now. Okay, so we use the imperatives to uh, give directions, orders, or commands. Okay, and there you have a uh, wake up now. When I said, if you are not using the microphone, please turn it off. That's an, a, a direction. Or you can also say an instruction. So I was giving you an instruction. Okay. And the example, wake up now. Let's continue with Jose Heriberto. Hey, by the way, guys, another... Uh -huh. Okay, imperative. Uh, yeah, I, I was I was about to give you one imperative, okay? In case, I mean, if your camera is working properly, please turn it on, okay? Because that's one of one of the requirements from um English corporativo. Okay, cool. Go ahead, please. Jose Roberto. Imperative, imperative to use given a warning, prohibition. Example, watch out, don't touch me. Okay, so we use the imperative to uh, give a warning or prohibition. Watch out, okay? Watch out. Don't touch me, don't touch me, okay? Yeah, 
Uh, let's continue with the next temperative. I want to listen to Astrid. Okay. Uh, imperative to use giving a, a, advice. Example, don't be panic and don't eat too much. Okay. For example, it says imperative to use uh, giving a, an advice. Okay. We use an imperative to give an advice. For example, if you are going to take a test, you can tell your friend or your brother, sister, I don't know, someone close to you, don't be panic. I mean, don't, yeah, don't be panic. Don't be afraid. That's what it means. Or another advice, don't eat too much. If you are uh, looking overweight and you are feeling sick because you are eating a lot of food, you can tell uh, your class, your classmate, your friend, your brother, sister, mother, uh, don't eat too much, okay? That can be one of the advices. Alrighty, but honestly, continue with the next imperative. When do we use imperative? Uh, when they use imperative, they use giving a request. Re ¿Cómo se dice, prof? Record, request? Mm. Right. Actually, what? you are going to read the previous one. Imperative to use giving an instruction. Ah, oh, okay. Sorry. Imperative to use giving an instruction. Instruction. Go as instruction. Instruction. Go straight ahead, then turn left. Go straight Take ahead the... and then turn left. Uh huh. Go. Go a string ahead, then to left. That's take an instruction. The, take the pill after a meal. Take a pill after a meal, okay? So those are instructions. Like the ones I was giving you at the beginning of the class, those also are instructions. Turn your cameras on, raise your hand if you want to participate. Turn your uh, microphone off if you are not talking, okay? Or if you are not participating to listen to the rest of the class properly, okay? Edwin, continue with the last uh, use of or the last function of imperative. Thank you. Yes, yes. We use the imperative to use giving a request. Okay. A request. A request, imperative example, to use giving a, a request, yeah. Yes, for example, mm -hmm. please don't go. Yeah. Please reconsider. Reconsider. Please reconsider. Mm -hmm. Let me alone, please. Let me alone, please, okay? So we use imperatives to give a request, okay? Now, let's move forward because we are going to practice uh, with the platform, okay? And then we are going to have like a, a talking activity. There you have negative imperatives, okay? So, Elisa, read the first one. Arely, continue. Negative imperatives. Imperative. Mm -hmm. Don't don't not stop. Don't smoke her. Okay, don't... only one. Don't stop. <laughs> okay, and you uh, read don't smoke here. Thank you, Nelson. Continue. Take my seat. Don't take my seat, Jenny. Please don't wait here. Please don't wait here. Okay, Tiffany. Don't Jenny. Wait. Okay. Sorry. Go ahead, Tiffany. Okay, and don't don't wash your hands here. Uh, don't wash your hands here. Thank you, Jenny. 
Don't put any salt in my soup. Don't put any salt in my soup. Soap is jabón. Soup is sopa. Okay. Don't put any salt in my soup. Don't put any salt in my soup. Yes. Thank you. If you see, those are negative imperatives. Now, let's check a mixed of. Do you have positive and then negative? Nelson, read positive and negative. Get up early. Don't get up early. Get up early. Don't get up early. You have positive and negative. Milena, continue. Number two. Milena. Hello. Are you... Milena. Miriam, go ahead, please. Number two. Okay. Are you car here? Don't park your car here. Thank you. Jesenia, next, the last one. Yesenia? They are um, better, eh? Yes. <clears throat> Number three. Post those letters. Don't post these letters. Post those letters, don't post those letters. Okay, so you also have some other examples. Carlos, read the number one and two. Carlos. Hola, hola. No alcanzo a leer la pantalla, solo dice. Shut up. Let's go play ball. Let's go play ball. Okay, Amalia, continue with the next two. Don't make a mess in here. Mm -hmm. I went to watch TV. No, don't make a mess in here. Stop it. Alexandra, oh, stop it. two more, please. Quiet, please. Please don't throw that. Please don't throw that. Okay, thank you. Areli, continue. The next two examples. I put it away now. I'll put it away now. I stopped. Stop. Okay. Berosli, the next two. Stop, please. I don't want to do that. Thank you. Edwin, the next two. Don't make a mess in here. Yep. Continue with okay. the next one. Please, please be quiet, please. Thank you. Elisa, next. Next two. Hey. Please don't. No sé cómo se pronuncia la siguiente. Throw. Throw. Your toys. Please. And then? I want to watch TV. Thank you, Erica. Next two examples. Please, please don't. Please don't throw your toys. Joy, please. Please don't throw your toys. Joe, please. Gabriel, next two examples. Uh, please don't that. Stop it. Don't throw that. Please don't do that. Stop it. Don't throw that. Tiene que uh, uh, darle, darle, darle ritmo a la oración, okay? Entonación. Griselda, continue with the next two. I want to watch TV now. I want to watch TV Go now. Go to school. Mm -hmm. Go to school, please. Yes. Leticia, the last I two. I want to wait to bed. Thank you. Leticia, the last two, please.
Liliana, the last two. Heriberto, the last two. Uh, 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 go to school, please. I want you to go to bed. Okay. Uh, antes de continuar, me escuchan cuando hablo. Sí, yes. sí, le yes. escucho. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. Porque eh, les le menciono el nombre yes. hasta tres, cuatro yes. veces y pareciera que no escucharon. Teacher, I'm sorry. Yo contesté, pero tenía el micrófono apagado. Ah, ok. Sí, okay. teacher, a mí eso me pasa también, todo lo que lo activo. <risa> Téngalo en la que... mano. Yo, sí, lo, claro. yo lo tengo aquí a la mano, eh. lo pongo en la mesa. Entonces, cuando voy a toser okay. o, o voy, a, voy a dejarlos hablar a ustedes, lo okay. presiono rapidito y ya me pongo en mute. Okay. Y estoy pendiente que, que esté en color verde o rojo. Yes. Okay, thank you. Now, let me continue with the... Uh, we're going to do some exercises on the platform mm -hmm. and then we're going to have a talking activity, okay? Just let me go ahead and stop the presentation and let's go to the... Let's go to the platform. We have enough time. We're going to take advantage of it. Okay. All right, so I'm going to read the lesson objective. It says, by the end of this class, you will learn how to use positive and negative imperatives. Additionally, you will also practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Okay. Now let's move. On. I think it's loading. Just give me some seconds. There you go. Hi everyone, in this class you learn how to use positive and negative imperatives. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Don't Work Too Hard. Let's listen and practice. Don't Work Too Hard. Hello Ms. West, how are you today? Not so good. So what's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Hmm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. The conversation that we just heard illustrates the conversation between a doctor and a patient. Typically, whenever we are sick and we go to the doctor, we're going to receive instructions from the doctor so that we can get better. We use imperatives to give instructions. Imperatives. Take a pill every four hours. Rest in bed. Drink lots of juice. Don't work too hard. Don't stay up late. Don't drink soda. To form imperatives is very simple. Just add the verb. No subject is necessary. Then a complement. On the left hand side of the chart, we can see positive imperatives. Let's analyze them. Take a pill every four hours. The verb is take. The complement is a pill every four hours. On the right hand side of the chart, you can see negative imperatives. Don't work too hard. 
In this case, we're going to follow this next formula. Don't plus verb plus complement. Don't work is the verb and the complement to har. Now, I would like for you to give some examples of your own. Think of the advice or instructions that you or your doctor gives whenever you have some kind of illness. For example, if you have a cold, take cough syrup, don't drink cold drinks. After you finish this task, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, um, let's continue with the platform. There you have a knowledge, I'm sorry, knowledge check. It says, instructions, complete these sentence, use the words in the box, instructions. Okay, um, let's see. I want to share the a screenshot I took because we're going to practice a little bit. Just let me see something here. Yes. Carl. Llamar. Call. Okay. Call. After Call. this Call. one, Call. we're going to no practice. No si no están usando el micrófono, please turn it off. Okay. After this activity we're going to practice that conversation together okay uh desk one gabriel select the best option number one please let's complete it together oh. gabriel call a dentist thank you call a dentist alexandra next don't eat too much don't eat too much continue nelson thank you miriam next not good to a school sorry uh, not good. No, 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 don't go to school. Next, Amalia. Okay. Is go no stay in bed. Thank you, Jenny. Six. See, <clears throat> see a coffee. See a coffee. See that. Okay, Heriberto, six. Sí, a doctor. Thank you. Sí, doctor. Alexandra, seven. Don't drink coffee. Don't drink coffee. Thank you. And the last one, Jenny. Don't eat any candy. Okay, let's check. Okay, there is something wrong with this one. Will it be don't eat? Don't worry too much. Don't too worry much. too much. Okay, let's see. Great, we got 10. Excellent, and applause for everybody. <laughs> okay, let's move on. 
it says, by the end of the class, you will read and discuss an article about how to improve your health. Additionally, you will develop skills in scanning and reading for main ideas. Now, let's watch this video and then we can move forward. Hi everyone, in this class you'll develop skills in scanning and reading for main ideas by reading and discussing an article about how to improve your health. 10 Simple Ways to Improve Your Health Believe it or not, you can greatly improve your health in 10 simple ways. 1. Eat breakfast. Breakfast gives you energy for the morning. 2. Go for a walk. Walking is good exercise, and exercise is necessary for good health. 3. Floss your teeth. Don't just brush them. Flossing keeps your gums healthy. 4. Drink 8 cups of water every day. Water helps your body in many ways. 5. Stretch for 5 minutes. Stretching is important for your muscles. 6. Wear a seat belt. Every year, seat belts save thousands of lives. 7. Do something to challenge your brain. For example, do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. 8. Protect your skin. Use lots of moisturizer and sunscreen. 9. Get enough calcium. Your bones need it. Dairy foods, like yogurt, milk, and cheese, have calcium. 10. Take a time out. A break of about 20 minutes. Do something different. For example, get up and walk. Or sit down and listen to music. Okay, let's continue. Knowledge check. It says, um, instructions, read the article, then complete the sentences. Okay. Uh, let's see. I want to, Gabriel, read the first article, please. Let me see if I can make it bigger. Number one. The one. Yes. Eat breakfast. Uh, breakfast gives you. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Eat breakfast. Breakfast gives you energy for the morning. Thank you. Nelson, number two. Go for a walk. Walking is good. Exercise and exercise is necessary for good hair. Amalia, number three. Close your teeth. Doesn't, don't just brush thing. Flushing keep your gum, gums. Uh, I'm not saying that. Very. Healthy. Healthy. Yes. Number four, Jenny. I drink. Uh, I drink a good of water every day. Water helps your body in the many ways. Thank you. Alexandra, six, uh, five. A stretch for five minutes. Mm -hmm. Stretching is important for your muscles. Muscles. Okay. Let me select another person. Give me one moment. Griselda, number six. Mm -hmm. 
Grisela. Every year, every year, six people say consent of life. Okay. Thank you. Heriberto, number seven. Okay, do something to challenge your brain. Uh, for example, do I a crossword uh, puzzle or read a new book? Puzzle. Nelson, eight. Protect your skin. Use lab, but most moisturize and sunscreen. Okay, Milena, nine. Get enough calcium. Your bones need it. Daily foods like yogurt, milk, and cheese have calcium. Okay. Jenny, the last one. Take a time out. A break of about 20 minutes. Do something different. For example, get up and walk or sit down and listen to music. Okay. Thank you, guys. Um, now, let's see. You're going to be the ones completing uh, this exercise. I want to select Jose Heriberto, number one. Uh, to get the exercise and um, search for the amenities. Go for a word. Um, okay. Uh, let's read the instructions. It says, read the article, then complete the sentences. Okay, that's what it says. Okay. So, okay, to get exercise, go for a walk or stray for five minutes. So, you select this option. Stays for five minutes. Okay. Hey, Alexandra, number two. To help your bones get enough calcium. Thank you. Let's continue. Arely. To hurt your muscles. Uh... Your muscles. El tri, tri, ¿verdad? Yes. Straight mm, for five minutes. Astrid, number four. For five minutes. Uh, to keep your gums healthy, get a no calcium. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Ah, no, no, no. Plus your teeth. Thank you. Berosli, next five. To, to have energy for the morning, eat breakfast. Okay. Carlos, number six. Astrid, number six. Okay, to challenge challenge your brain. Um, what the number? Do a crossword. Puzzle or read a new book. Thank you. Okay, one is incorrect. Uh-huh. To get exercise, a stretch for five minutes or go for a walk? Go for, go a, walk. for a walk. Yes, I would say that. Yeah. Yeah, you had 34. Great. Now, if you see, we have completed uh, the section two. Okay, we're going to continue with that to matter. But now, I'm going to stop sharing and we are going to practice the conversation, okay?
Okay. Now I need volunteers. I sent you the conversation, okay, the dialogue to the Zoom's chat. And I want to have two volunteers first. I have Alexandra and the second volunteer, Nelson. Thank you. Okay. A and B. Okay. Hello, Mr. West. How are you today? Not so good. So what's wrong exactly? On the south side. Mm, why I'm are you so mm, why are you so I'm tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes, don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. Yen. Excellent. An applause for your peers. Great, great job. I need two more volunteers. Two more volunteers who want to read. I have Gabriel and I also have uh, Liliana. Go ahead. <clears throat> Okay. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pills every night after dinner. Gabriel? It's not the same conversation? Yes, the same conversation. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. And don't don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes, don't work too hard. All right, thanks, Dr. Young. Que corta la conversación. Yes. <laughs> Debió de haber sido desde el principio. I'm yes. sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> you can repeat it. We are stuck. Hey. We are repeat again. We, okay. I mean, we are reading the information from the Zoom chat. En el chat de Zoom les envié una conversación y es lo que estamos leyendo, practicando. Okay. Alguien que se le envíe WhatsApp, please. Ah, ya la reenvió Alexandra. Thank you, Alexandra. Ah, okay. Thank you, Alexandra. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, start since the beginning. Liliana, go ahead, please. Okay. Hello, Miss West. How are you today? So, what's wrong exactly? I am exhausted. Um, why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you a few minute, minutes later. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pills every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes, don't work too hard. All right, thanks, Dr. Young. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, thank you. Cuando estén participando, mantengan el micrófono apagado. Amalia, usted lo tiene encendido también, José Heriberto. Ok, 
uh, two more volunteers, please. Hi, Peter. Edwin. Edwin and Marcos. Okay. Hello, Miss Wist. Hello, Miss Wist. How are you today? Not too good. So, what's wrong exactly? I am exhausted. Mm, why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at nine. Okay, let's take a look at you. Oh, yeah. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes, don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. John. Thank you. An applause. Two more volunteers, please. And the last ones. Jose Heriberto and Tiffany. Hello, Mr. West. How are you today? Tiffany? Creo que tienes tu micrófono apagado. Sorry. It's okay. Uh, uh, not so good. So, what's wrong exactly? I'm, I'm exhausted. Mm, why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. At you, um, I am going to give you some pills. Take one uh, pills every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes, um, don't worry uh, too hard. All right. Thank you, Dr. Jung. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Let's give an applause to Tiffany and Jose Roberto. Yay. Great. Awesome. Now, uh, let's move forward. Uh, would you like to participate one more time? Any other volunteers? Two more volunteers? No more volunteers? Okay. Awesome. Now, let me go ahead and share my computer screen. Once you can see it, just let me know, please. Can you see them? I my computer's a screen? No, yet. No, yet. Okay. Yet. Yes, I can see. Yes. I can see. Now, I want you to give me the imperatives that you can read or that you have at the zoo. I'm going to start with Alexandra. What imperatives can you see at the zoo? Mm, probably take photos. Take photos. Okay. What else? You can give me uh, three or more examples. Mm, take photos. Um, don't forget uh, gifts. Um, what else? At the and... zoo, are you sure? Don't throw food to the animals. Don't and don't, throw... don't feed the animals. Oh yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Perosli, 
What imperatives imperatives do you have in the restaurant? Um, don't don't say the food the other person. <laughs> okay, is that normal? Probably, probably. Wash your hands. That can be one imperative, positive imperative. What else? Make a line. Wait for the food. Okay. Astrid, what imperatives do you have in the supermarket? Um, I don't know. I buy a product um, for my house. Mm. Okay. O cómo sería, teacher? Ok, ¿cuáles son los ejemplos de imperativo imperatives que ustedes tienen en el supermarket? Por ejemplo, uno de esos puede ser take a number if you are going to buy meat. Si van a comprar la carne, okay. ahí dice okay. tome número en wait. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Otro, okay, wait. My otro, turn. Ajá, otro imperativo puede ser a la hora de pagar. En un supermarket a veces ponen y dice make a line in order to pay the product. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Thank you. Nelson, what imperatives do you have at the bank if you go to the bank? Mm. Permiten. Uh, imperative to use giving a request. Please consider the credit. I'm sorry. Como diciendo, please reconsider the credit. Or, por favor, reconsider el credit. Um, reconsider the credit. Okay. So uh -huh. remember that you, you can have positive and negative. One positive can be like uh, take a seat and wait to listen to your name on the screen, okay? Right? Okay, let's see. Jose Riverto, what imperatives do you have at the bar? Oh. Okay, mm, don't, don't drink mm, water. For example, um, don't drink listen. water or don't yeah. drink don't drink too much drink, alcohol. <laughs> drink beer. Beer. Uh, please uh, drink beer. Mm, okay. What else? Don't pay with the, with credit cards can be one of the examples. Ah, okay. Don't don't, don't pay fight the, with people. Don't, don't fight credit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh don't vomit on the table. <laughs> that can be don't one. On yes. Table. That yeah, there are many people who drink a lot of alcohol and they start vomiting. Yes. Alexandra, okay. what imperatives do you have at the church? Mm. Don't use the cell phone. Okay. Mm -hmm. Otro podría ser... Keeping silence. Keeping silence. Listen to the priest. Yes. Okay. What else? Pay attention. Pay 
Okay. Amalia, what imperatives do you have at the pharmacy? Amalia? Astrid, what imperatives do you have at the pharmacy? Um, you take a number. Okay. But my turn. Take a number and wait for your turn. Yeah. Okay. Adelie, what imperatives do you have at the petrol station or gas station? Yeah. No smoking. Ah, yes, don't smoke or no smoke. No, no cellular. Okay, don't use your mobile phone. Great. What else? Turn your engine off. Okay. All right, Carlos, what imperatives do you have at the theater? Don't make a noise. Okay, don't make a noise. What else? But Osley, what imperatives do you have at the cinema? Um. Don't move your 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 seat. Don't move your seat. Okay. Also, keep in silence, or keep your voice in a low register. Okay. Let's see. Um, Adelie, what imperatives do you have? at the bus station. No sé cómo decir, no bocinas, no ruido de bocinas. Don't use the speakers. Or be, don't use the speakers very loud. Or in the bus station, uh, they are going to ask you not to cut the lines because there are many people that cut the lines. Okay. Alexandra, what imperatives do you have at the hotel? Mm, in a hotel, maybe pay, eh, como se dice, make the check-in correctly. Okay, make the check-in on time, right? On time, yes. Yes, use your debit or credit card. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. don't be late for the checkout. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, pay the extra fee. Okay. Clean the, the bathroom before you leave. No, how do you say no dañar? La... Don't, don't destroy the facilities. Okay. Mm, no admit <laughs> dot. What? No admit eh, dot o, o perro o algo así. No animales. Ah, eh, pets are not allowed. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not bring food. Don't bring food. Uh -huh. There are some hotels that they don't allow you to bring food. Okay. Mister, don't yep. don't lose your kid to your key. Oh yes, don't lose your keys. Uh huh. Don't lose your keys. Otherwise, you are going to pay extra fee. Depending when you where you are, they ask you. I don't know. The copy of one key can cost like ten dollars, twenty dollars, but I don't know in other countries. Those can be around. 50 or even more? Sí, se lo cobran. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see. Carlos, what 
imperatives do you have in a playground? Carlos? Don't hate. Mm -hmm. Columbia, uh -huh. Columbia, that's a good one. That's a good question. Let me look for it. Okay, give me give me other examples in the meantime. Uh huh. Don't not hard to games. I'm sorry. Don't not harp the games. It's como not dañar. Don't destroy the the destroy the, the game. games. That uh huh. Okay. Columbia in English is swing. 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 I have never. I have never looked for that word before. This is the first time, actually. Uh, tal vez children ten years. Okay. Uh, look at your children. Okay. Take care of your children. That can be another imperative. Okay. Astrid, what are some imperatives at a factory? Um, use the boat. Um, ¿cómo se dice casco? Oh, let's see another question. Okay, give me another one, another example. In the meantime, I look for casco. Um, use um. Um, no sé cómo se diría. Usar casco para evitar accidentes. Protection. Protection, ok. Mm -hmm. Use. Um, casco. ¿Cómo dijo que se decía casco? You can say head protection. You can say. Oh, ok. Protection. Or protection. Mister. Mm -hmm. También se puede usar. Use the clothes. No. Clothes protection. Oh, la ropa de protección. Okay. Close protection. Casco and English. Let's see. And oh, that's the helmet. Helmet. Astrid, what? Uh, imperatives do you have at a farm? Um, farm is granja, no? Yes. Okay. Um, Feed the animals. <laughs> don't um, ride the horses. Okay, don't ride the horses and don't, don't, um, ¿cómo sería? Don't, ay, dar, se me olvida. Don't give. Don't give. Don't give, uh -huh. don't give, uh, uh, don't feed the animals. Feed, uh -huh. food, también, food elements. Or don't give food to the animals. Okay. Okay, thank you, great examples. Now, let's see. Let's continue. Don't eat the chickens. Uh huh. Okay. Let's complete these sentences. Berosli, I want you to complete one sentence. If you see the example here, it says change money here. Okay. Number two. Bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. Stamp here. Stamps here. Great. Excellent. Jose Heriberto, number three. 
and watch this this feels it's great this film is great excellent yes okay nelson continue Listen to your teacher. Listen to your teacher. Excellent. Carlos, number five. Pay for travel car here. Pay for travel car here. Okay. And the last one, Berosli. Sit. Sit down, down, please. Sit down, please. Excellent. Yay, great. Excellent, guys. Are you happy? Were you able yes. to understand it? Yes. Okay. Bye. Le voy a dar un minuto. Pregunta. Vale, les paré la clase lo mejor que pude para que la entendieran, porque algunos no le entienden a ese tema, pero es algo tan fácil, solo es de saber entender cuándo usar, qué decir, cómo estructurar. ¿Preguntas? Um, teacher, I have a question. Yes. Imperative es, eh, imperative es, es dar una... Entiendo yo que es imperativo como dar una orden. Say a book, por mm -hmm. ejemplo. Sí, es para Pero, dar órdenes, para dar consejos. O como para advertir también, me dicho, como Correcto. una advertencia. Todo lo que ven, los que manejan, lo que, lo que ven en la calle, cuando dice las señalizaciones, todas esas son imperativos. Las señalizaciones. Pero, cuando dice, don't park here, o stop. No. Slow your speed. Bajar la velocidad. Todo eso son imperativos. En inglés se llama imperativos. Uh, don't drink. Ajá, si van. Uh, don't si drink. Van, don't drink alcohol. Alcohol. Ajá. Si ustedes van, hay cosas, eh, los imperativos son cosas que son permitidas y cosas que son prohibidas. ¿Ok? Por eso por, tienen por ejemplo, por eso tienen posit cosas positivas y negativas, imperativos positivos y negativos. Les di ejemplos. Por, por ejemplo, ejemplo es, que esto es casi todo. Por ejemplo, take a shower. Take a shower. Ajá, ahí, ahí está dando una, una, un consejo o una instrucción. Si es su hijo... Pero, ajá. Pero ¿cómo saber si, si se lo están diciendo de buena manera o se lo están diciendo bien imperativo a usted que le dice tienes que bañarte? Oh, va, ¿por qué no va, se de, baña? va a depender de la, de la entonación, uh -huh. porque no es lo mismo que yo le diga, take a shower, como que, take a shower, please, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Es lo mismo que en español. Yo le puedo es decir a alguien. Que, que en los parqueos, cuando ponen la señal de que no debe de parquearse, en lugares de, para gente de, de silla de rueda o menos uh -huh. válido y todo eso. Exacto. Es, una... es lo mismo que en español. Si yo le digo a alguien, eh, duchate, yo le puedo decir, duchate por favor, ven la entonación, pero yo, te, yo le digo a alguien, a Nelson, duchate vos, ¿verdad? Va a depender de la entonación. Pero es que como si son los niños hay que hacerlo, a parcecita. Uh -huh. Ok, vaya, espero que el tema les haya quedado claro, eh, que hayan avanzado con la sesión 2, sí. mañana vamos a empezar con la 3, porque quiero eh, dejar prácticamente terminada esa sesión 3 para esta semana, ok, okay. no les quito más su sí, tiempo sí, pero verdad que uh -huh. la sección 2 bueno, en la plataforma nuestro, nuestro trabajo ¿sí? la teníamos que haber terminado la semana pasada ¿verdad? la semana pasada, pero Porque como ahora me mandaron como uh -huh. ajá, no, no, o sea la clase, sí, yo entiendo que, que vamos pero nuestro trabajo personal sí lo tendríamos que haber enviado la, completado la semana pasada, ¿verdad? Sí, es que este tema, este tema era para la semana anterior. 
pero como con el going to se tardaron un mundo en agarrarle, entonces nos atrasamos. Así que yo puedo ir, con, el, puedo ir con, con la clase rapidito. Yo les puedo dar eh, tres unidades en una semana, pero que lo agarren es otra cosa, o que lo entiendan. Entonces ahí nos atrasamos, ¿ok? Vale, no les quito más okay. su tiempo porque tengo que cerrar la grabación. Eh, buen provecho para los que no han cenado. And see you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.